Hello and welcome to this next video on basic electrical repairing. In the previous video, we tried to understand how we can find the polarity in a DC supply. In this video, we will try and talk about how we can identify AC polarity or uh, polarity of an AC supply. Now, as mentioned earlier, it is important to know the polarity of uh, any line be it DC or AC because that will ensure that the connections are given appropriately and your equipments or electrical uh, items that you are connect, uh, connecting to the power are kept in safe condition. AC supply here basically refers to alternate current and alternate current is the current that you will normally use for most uh, appliances in your house including tube light, fan, mixer, grinder, air conditioner, etc. The AC supply is a power that you receive from the main electricity board and is supplied through uh, transformers into your residence. Now, typically these electric connections have three co connections in them. One is the positive line, one is the neutral line and the third is the ground line. So, these three lines are important to ensure that your household wiring is intact and is properly functioning. So, let us try and understand how we can find out the polarity of the AC supply. So, in order to find out which is the positive line, we are going to be using a small switchboard in this uh, video and we are going to be using a tool called the tester. A tester is usually used to find out which is the phase line or the positive line in any electric supply. Here we have a supply board which has a switch, an indicator, there is a fuse and a plug point. So, we have switched it on and there is power supply that is coming in into the uh, switch board now. Now, in order to find out which is the phase, we place the tester in one of the plug holes to see if the tester is showing a light. As you can see, there is a light glowing here which basically means that this is where the phase is connected into this plug point. And when you place it in the other one, you will not be able to see a light there which signifies that the other one is a neutral. So, this is a positive line or the phase line as we call it. When you see that there is supply coming in here and on the other hand, there is a neutral line which has uh, no light showing up. And we can confirm this even further by placing a, a tester lamp connected to it. So, we place the plus and minus and you can very clearly see that the lamp is glowing which basically means that the phase and the neutral are working properly. Now, many a times there could also be issues in connections within the board. For example, let us say we place the tester here and there is a light in the phase. But on the other, side, other hand, obviously, you cannot use a tester to find a neutral line. However, when you place a tester in the neutral side and if you see a light even then, that could signify that there is probably a, a somewhere there is a connection between the phase and the neutral or there is some short happening, shorting happening which could result in the neutral actually showing up at that particular time. So, if you see a light glowing even in the neutral side, in which case it could result in confusion on which is positive or negative, you will you can easily figure out that there is probably a short circuit somewhere in which case you will have to open up the circuit board and understand where the issue is. Now, let us say if the uh, phase is proper and the neutral is uh, um, not glowing properly, you can check the neutral using the indicator lamp. So, we put the tester in it and check that the phase lights up. Now, let us use the tester lamp like this and connect it to these two points. If the neutral is working properly, the bulb will glow up brightly. However, if there is a problem in the neutral, the bulb will not glow. So, step by step, you need to follow these processes as we said, as we did. First step is to put the tester on the phase side uh, and check if the phase light is on. If the phase light is on, uh, we can use the tester lamp connect it and check whether the neutral is also working properly. Now, let us try and turn the board around to see how the circuitry behind works to understand how the phase and the neutral points are connected at the board level. We will use a tester to again check this out. So, there is one phase line which comes from the mains which is sent into the uh, main fuse. 
Now, you can see the light glowing there. The fuse is obviously connected you through series and therefore, the lighting uh, is complete. Then it goes to the switch to one end of the switch. So, when it is connected to one end of the switch, you will see the light there. On the other end, there is the switch is on, the light will glow. When you turn it off, the light will go off, which basically means that the supply at this point has been disconnected. You can very clearly see that the phase is disconnected. So, the phase is not going to be traveling beyond this point unless you switch on the particular switch. Once you switch it on, it goes to the plug point here. You can see the phase here again in the plug point. The phase is very clearly visible. So, the phase comes here and from here, it is then connected to the indicator on top. And then from the indicator, it is finally connected to the other end of the plug point. And then finally, the neutral is on the right hand side of the plug point. So, if a neutral is at fault, your bulb will not glow. So, you can always check the neutral by placing the two points of the tester lamp on two separate aspects, one on the face and the other on the neutral part. And that will help you figure out if there is a problem with the neutral or not. So, the reason why as we mentioned earlier, the reason why you need to understand phase and neutral is to ensure that you identify the right polarities because a lot of electrical equipments including fans and lights need to be connected in the right position in order to ensure that they function appropriately. And that is the reason why it is critical to understand what is the phase and what is neutral and how these need to be connected while you are doing house wiring. So, in an AC, uh, any of the electrical components, you can place the uh, connecting points in different uh, positions. You can alternate AC, uh, the positive and negative ends of a bulb just as you can see. Alternating the positive and negative sides of a bulb will not impact the bulb as such. But uh, if your neutral is not proper, if your neutral is not connected uh, properly, then your electrical appliances will not function properly. And that is the reason why you need to know which is a neutral and which is a phase in a household electric supply. As mentioned earlier, the phase can be tested using an, a tester and that the light showing in the glowing in the tester will tell you whether the phase is on or not. But in order to test a neutral, you will have to use an indicator lamp or a tester lamp like this. Place the two ends of the tester lamp, one on the phase and one on the neutral and then check whether the neutral is intact or not. If the neutral is intact and the phase is intact, your appliances will function properly. So, we do hope in this video, you would have understood how we can check what is phase and neutral or understand the polarity in an AC supply. And we do hope this information is helpful for you in going forward in your household electric related work. Thank you very much.